Can eating ugly food help you save money? Yes, says Singapore entrepreneur Jia Tai or JC Lau. And he's putting his money where his mouth is. This is actually a, a beef patty that just came in. Um, what's so special about this is actually, this is actually produced for, uh, for a famous chain restaurant in Singapore, but it's overproduced, so they couldn't take up the supply and Initially, this will all go to waste. So we are working together with the supplier to help to distribute these to all the local Western food stalls. He buys unwanted frozen meat and seafood from food suppliers and sells them to hawkers and restaurants at a lower price. And the reason why this food is unwanted, it's not because it isn't suitable for eating. If I were to bring out some of the unsold inventories and put in front of you, even before cooking, you wouldn't even know that it's unsold inventory because many times there are small blemishes or things that are overstocked. Why is this happening is really because before the product reaches the end consumer, it goes through many, many layers of filtering and it, it reaches a point where the smallest blemishes will result in the products to be filtered out from, this, from the channel such that the end user would never get to see such a product. Food which is fit for eating but gets wasted is one of the world's biggest environmental problems. It's estimated that one third of all the food produced never gets eaten. So JC and his partners started looking for a solution. In 2018, they started Tree Dots as a marketplace for surplus produce. There is imperfect information in the market, so willing buyers are not able to find the supply. And likewise, willing sellers or people who have such excess inventories, they are not able to find buyers to take up such a product. So we stand in the middle like an information broker. Unsold inventory like this beef is exactly the problem what we're trying to solve. And we are here to find a second life for them, selling to people who's willing to take up such products. While some of these less than perfect or overstocked produce may never end up on the dinner plate, they go a long way in helping food businesses save costs. Recently, we have a, a product which is overstock of chicken breast. Chicken breast is a dietary preference that's a lot more consumed in like European or the Western counterpart, but in Southeast Asia, you know, we like the more fattier thighs, you know, and parts. So, breast is always in an overstock situation. For JC, this is an opportunity to offer his clients chicken breasts at a cheaper rate. Hawker space actually takes up about maybe 80% of all our customer base. If you're bringing this product to a businesses and say like, hey, do you want to get some chicken breast is selling at a discount, to them it's a no-brainer because it helps them to lower their costs and better profit for them while they are still serving the same product to their customer. That itself is a very huge bait or a huge benefit for them because you know, they are literally reducing their cost of operation. In 2019, Tree Dots started selling directly to consumers. But since then, the firm has been focusing on its commercial customers instead as it's a more lucrative segment for Tree Dots. Experts say having strong ESG or environmental, social and governance indicators can also make a business more attractive to both investors and consumers. Consumer preferences have shifted a lot. And at the same time, especially the younger generation, the consumers like millennials and Gen Zs, they are very much looking at prioritizing uh, sustainability and social impact into part of their purchasing behavior. For businesses looking to adopt sustainable practices into their day-to-day -day operations, here are some suggestions that could also help a business save money. Energy is going to get more expensive because of our carbon tax uh, that's expected to roll out in Singapore. And with the energy audits, you can identify areas that there's wastage in energy. Example, our lights, if you put in sensors, you'll be able to off when you're not using it, and it will on when people walk past it. So that's one energy saving. 
Then number two, obviously, is to look at uh, investing into equipment that are energy saving and energy efficient. And you can also look at, for example, as part of your supply chain or your manufacturing process, is there any way that you can reduce, for example, wastage? Wastage directly goes into the PL as losses, right? Directly into the expense. Tree Dot's mission to cut food waste and lower food bills shows that before you try to create an impact, you need to be financially sound first. So today we have raised about the total amount of our 20 million USD. We are doing good, but yet you can also see from our business that we are profitable, we are, we are making money, and, and the whole business is financially sound. So you have to be sustainable to deliver sustainability.